Have you heard of dry January? Instead of ditching the sugar or carbs to start the new year, some people are saying so long to alcohol. The month-long challenge encourages people to go alcohol-free. But that doesn't mean you can't still enjoy a fancy drink in the form of a mocktail. And so joining us now is Trevor Wheeler. He is the bar manager at the Meeting House in Rochester. Uh, what are you mixing up first for us? All right, well, uh, first of all, the first cocktail we're going to be doing today is a healing word. Um, this is one of our non-alcoholic cocktails that actually uses uh, non-alcoholic spirits, okay. which have really taken on a lot of steam in the past uh, few years. The pandemic definitely opened people's eyes about, you know, being aware to drinking. Okay. And these companies have really stepped up their game. Uh, so the first drink that we're going to make is kind of like a riff on uh, your French 75. Okay. So we're going to do a non-alcoholic French 75. So first we're going to start off with a seed lip. Uh, this is going to be their garden. Okay. Um, this is going to be nice and botanical and give us a lot of those like gin notes that you normally get from your gins. Okay. Uh, next, I like to have a little bit of bitter in all of my cocktails. And with mocktails, that definitely like helps bring down the sweetness. Okay. A lot of people think that when they think mocktail, they think this is going to be a sugary drink. They think of that super sweet uh, Shirley Temple. With an umbrella in it. Yep, yeah, yeah. every time. So we're going like to take this. this and we're going to use this to kind of like bitter it out a little bit. And this is uh, going to mimic like an Aperol. Okay. So this is one of my favorite uh, like mocktail so ingredients. It's sweet ish. Yes, it is definitely sweet ish. Mm -hmm. And then next we're going to take some lemon juice. Okay. And then a little bit of a peach syrup that we made with um, a little bit of Mas yeah. Madagascar vanilla syrup in it. Okay, fancy. This sounds all amazing right. already. Oh, it is fantastic. And then we're gonna just take that, we're gonna shake all this ingredients up. Okay. And then we're gonna have our glass that has a little bit of soda water already in it. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna throw that on top. Okay. And it's gonna be that nice, refreshing cocktail. Smells good too. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little dehydrated lemon. Okay. And uh, let's see, we're moving on to, well, I, I can sip this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, go right ahead. Go on to the second one. Yeah, wonderful. So the next drink that we're going to do is something that you can actually do when you're not doing dry January, and you can just substitute the water for vodka. So we're going to be doing our lavender lemonade, okay. um, and then we're going to take equal parts lemon juice, mm -hmm. lavender syrup, With the lavender syrup is super easy to make. You can make this at home. It's just like making a simple syrup. Okay. And then you take dehydrated lavender and then you just steep it for like 20 minutes, strain it out, and then you have a beautiful lavender syrup that you can use anytime for okay. either le lemonades and whatnot. So it's a little, it's more sophisticated uh, taste with, uh, with notes that are, that are other than like just straight lemonade. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna make like uh, an upscale lemonade if Got you will. It. We're gonna shake that up. And then we're going to take that and then strain it over to some fresh ice. Okay. It's got that nice light lavender color to the lemon. Well, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to. You can definitely deep, drink these ones. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then when you're not doing dry January, you can always substitute the water and then do like an ounce and a half of your favorite vodka, gin, whatever you'd like. I don't know which one I like. <laughs> Um, so what's the mocktail? You have a menu. Yes, we have an entire mocktail menu. We, we also do a low ABV BV menu. Okay. Uh, we kind of have a little bit of something for everybody on ours. Um, so you have like our, this is our blackberry mule right mm -hmm. here, which is like a mule, but uh, with a blackberry syrup. The cherry bomb, that is a top shelf Shirley Temple where we make our own grenadine. Wow. And then of course use that Detroit uh, ginger ale. It's uh, perfect for it. Yep. Verbs, um, maybe. And then right? we have a okay. non-alcoholic uh, espresso martini. Okay. All right. And so, but you also serve food. Oh, yeah. We have plenty of food. <laughs> um, our chef has uh, created us a fantastic menu. Um, we do everything that you would typically see in a uh, Michigan-style restaurant with Elevated. Okay. Um, you're in Rochester. We are in downtown Rochester. Okay. Um, where you can come see us from now until January 21st. The lights are still up. So you can still keep on that holiday cheer just for a little bit longer. All right. That sounds good. Um, well, I, uh, I'm going to be sipping here. <laughs> 